My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Shangri-La. Oh, also, Rin Out Explorers, Mortal Explorer, Mortal Explorer, as well as the Emperor's Challenge DLC. I didn't, I didn't screw up. You screwed up. Let's go get those keys. Hmm. This is gonna be difficult. All right. Need to warn the one on Mount Kailash, and we are better prepared. Level three engineer, what up, y'all? <sighs> Look at that devious resolution. <laughs> That's what I would have gotten without, and these are all the things I get because of the devious resolutions. That's um, that's fun. Good fun right there. You don't like being enraged? Okay, I can enrage you then. Yikes. I accidentally screwed myself by changing the mood. Okay. Um, if you go here and then do the AoE enrage, we become that. But then... You're going to have to move all the way back up here in order to protect the rest of my team. If we do that, we can go back to Pleasant, get Mood Switcher. Yikes. See, now we need to resolve Devious, though, so that's not going to be fun. I very much need you not to attack Yvonne. Or you can attack her and fumble. Both of those are options. You're free to choose either. I want you to know your choice was not controlled by me. It was entirely of your own volition. They start bickering and disappear. Of course they do. Okay. Let's go to the cultural challenge. They have monkeys. You have to let me play with them. All right. It's only two uh, supplies we would have lost for failing. Hey, and two secrets. Don't mind if I do. Yvonne's face is in papers all over the world, of course. Kailash? No, Forsaken Monastery. Okay. Strike the gong. Investigate the courtyard. What a beautiful secret garden. Talk to the focused monk. We lose one resolve if we fail, but it's 69 to succeed. I very rarely got to talk to the Focus Monk here. Okay. I want to try and stay super far away from the main area. A Yeti, really, tell me more. We better prepare. Um, I want to stay super far away from the end area. Because I'm going to be looping back around to that, and I want to leave myself as many opportunities uh, for movement as I can later. 120 to a single target. What are they afraid of? They're afraid of being impressed. What are you afraid of? You're afraid of being excited. Okay. Uh, hmm. This is going to be a rough one. I don't know if I'll actually even be able to do anything to these guys. I don't think Mindbender will work.
Yeah, they can't even get through. This is a perfect bottleneck. Like, it's actually the perfect example of bottleneck. Yeah, Mindbender isn't really going to work here, I don't think. So, in lieu of using that... Ah, terrified was close. Hang on, what's your speech defense? 15, 0. Okay. I... This is the last chance... It, never mind, it doesn't... Didn't work. I actually should have done that in the opposite order. I should have used a impress on Agatha and then an Excite. I'll do it now. So that I can get her into the positive mood. She's now excited. 78, yeah. Wasn't gonna happen. That's a shame, but you know, I'm not too disturbed about it. It'll all work out in the end. It'll shake out. Right, campfire story. I think Talons of the Scout actually might end up giving us the most renown over time. Beautiful monastery. Have a pleasant conversation with him. Yikes. Lost one resolve. Wasn't as pleasant as I would have liked. Giant trap springs from the ground. 84% chance to evade it. And we do. Trap wasn't meant for you. No need to state the obvious. There's not a Yeti. Beguile the woman into telling us about the Yeti. Say, if I was looking for a Yeti, where would I not look? Oh, cool. So, I think she just guaranteed me that there is actually not a Yeti on the map. Because I believe otherwise she would have said, uh, definitely don't start looking here and then indicated where the Yeti is. Oh, they're all so close to hitting everyone, but they don't. <sighs> okay, if you go all the way down here, you can hit that in rage. You have the highest speech defense, so we'll stand behind you. The point behind this is to funnel neck them, bottleneck them rather. Have them all funnel into one area and in effect have them bottlenecked, right? This could work, but doesn't. Uh, yeah, I just screwed the bottleneck there. It's my bad. Yeah, I screwed up really, really badly there. If they all surround Kiwi, though, I'll be able to get the efficient. And we're good. Okay, so it turned out well. It really shouldn't have. But it did work out. But again, it desperately, desperately should not have. This is not how this should have ended. 
This should have ended with sadness and tears. And it still can, and it didn't. That's insane. Frankly, I'm a little underwhelmed that I screwed up this badly and it wasn't punished. Alright, all enemies defeated. And we resolve Devious as well. Don't mind if I do. Okay. So this is Mount Crane. Cave of the Crane, rather. Cassandra Shafiq. I would have been able to get through the Cave of the Crane quite easily, but... Hmm. Inconvincible, eight or less speech damage. That's not going to happen. Like, it would have to be... Uh, if I go aggressive... Yeah, it won't even do that. Yeah, no, I, I don't think that's even possible. What I can do, quite happily is take up a space. Bottleneck them in here as well. I'm going devious right now because I know they won't be able to strong, uh, respond with enough strength to really make it so bad that I've been devious. For example... Cool. One more person hits Kiwi, and then Kiwi is on low health. Oh no, Kiwi. Um, but there's three people left on the map. Like, oh, and they couldn't even hit Kiwi, because Kiwi has the ability to dodge everything. I actually have Agatha stand there quickly. Just in case Cassandra gets any ideas about running straight for Kiwi. Kind of like that. If she gets any ideas like that. That she just had. Let's wreck Kiwi. Kiwi goes here. One person down. No support gets sent in after this, so it's just going to be us and uh, Cassandra. I'm going to change this back to friendly for a moment, because I don't want the speech defense negative. We'll go back to devious as soon as possible, but don't worry. We're just going to stay this for a moment. As long as we're healing every turn, I can do this for as long as I like. Now it's devious time. <laughs> Boom! And it resolves devious! Oh, could not have done that better. I mean, we did lose one resolve, yes, so that could have been slightly better. I also could have specifically not lost a resolve that I lost earlier in this uh, run, because now if I lose two more resolves, I'm bugging. Oh well. Let's get our key of mind. Two hundred. Not too bad. Not too shabby at all. 
There's the Mount Kailash. We do have a prayer flag, but I've never seen what this really does. We have two tools, so... Yeah, we'll use the tool here. Mount Kailash, all this nonsense bores us. Use supplies to prepare better. Use supplies to prepare better. Use supplies to prepare better. 90. We have a lot of supplies. This is what I guess I'm trying to get across there. Uh, always starts encounters excited. No. We'll raise our speech defense. Um, yes, but how have you survived up here? Golden mag magic bra uh, berries. Yes. Although now we won't be fighting them. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Dharma Chakra, and we will take 570 renown there. Temple of Love and Wisdom, try to cross the room. Dumb the Battle of Charms. And we are so damn charming with our six levels in Beguiler. Sounds good to me. Oh, cool. We got famous. Nice. Monk approaches you. Uh, he's not the one throwing the dodgeball at our head and we turn around and knock it down and yell no, which is my favorite. I'll roll the 78 here because I might still need the tool in order to ascend the mountain because it's a rogue and an athlete that can ascend that mountain with ease and we have neither. Blue demons, give us some stuff. Oh, I want more. Give me more. And we get a devious job. Love it. Treasure hunt whenever you resolve devious. We're going to resolve like two more things. So I actually take the treasure hunts. Okay, Tiger Mountain, look for a way up, prepare for the climb, 75, and yeah, I'm just going to add the tool to that and we're going to go up. I don't want to have the possibility of failing that one. That's still going to be more, but it's not that much renown that we just picked up from that one. And leave, no hunger procs on us. We're as ready as ever. And we've got all of the Shambhala keys. We want to break their will because we're devious. Thankfully, we've got all three domains of devious covered. So we will be able to take out each of the underlings here. Right? You can be saddened. You can be enraged. You can be saddened. You can be anything except for saddened. Um, oh. Yikes. I think I actually run at them. Hear me out. Usually I back up and I let them come to me. But right now, I have the ability to occupy all of this space. And that's huge. That's going to prevent them from being able to occupy the space, obviously. I mean, it's kind of clear. But... It's also very likely to get them to surround Kiwi. Kiwi does loudmouth, and that's ridiculous because a lot of them can be enraged for quite a lot of damage. Kind of like if that just happened. Okay, drop Amir. And now, of course, we're going to be able to withstand all of the 
Well, a lot of the damage, rather. Purely thanks to the fact that we're getting a heal every turn. That heal every turn is just going to be ridiculous. Speech defense is heavily crippled. So now this might... Yep, beautiful. That gets us our mind bending as well. <laughs> we we've done it. This was definitely the correct solution to this. It could not have been more definitely correct. There's nothing he can do to us. <laughs> Runs away, 98 damage. And goodbye, Matthew Rivlo. You've embarrassed yourself, Matthew. I can't wait for the achievements to roll in. Stop it, you little asterisks. Did Rivlo just call you an asterisk? He's just scared himself. I'm terribly sorry. This is not how a gentleman explorer should behave. I'm a disgrace and I don't deserve this treasure. I must first learn to control my emotions. I've been controlling his emotions all day. Okay. Five campaign. Sorry. Five renown for each campaign. So that's 520. Or 30 renown for each secret. So that's uh, 390. Or two points for each grit. That's... So it's definitely this. Pick up that 520 right there. Don't mind if I do. Famous. Achieve 10,000 now. Don't mind if I do. Also, count up all of my resource total at the end. I might have hit 1,500. It's unlikely, but I may have. Oh, never mind. It looks like I totally did. Or not. Alright, because some of it was already being counted. We'll take our place before the throne. Time for that insult. Say something nice about Mathieu. His hair looks pretty nice. Come on, let's see. Who won? Who won? Stop keeping me in suspense. 192? Is it bigger or smaller than 67? We could not have won more convincingly. <laughs> so these are the three that we can't stop him from getting. And these were the ones that I really couldn't stop him from getting just because of the situation I was in. Uh, but we got all of these. We got all of the fame ones. We also got... All of these brave ones that he can't get. So fair enough. He can't get the brave challenges. Uh, and we got every single secret spotter token. Didn't leave any space for him along that path. I think the fact that I was able to get absolutely all of those without him even getting a slight look in made it pretty much impossible for him to come back. And in turn, earned me a ridiculous amount. For the moment, let me just say that my name is Moon Rhapsody. The name of the game is Moon Rhapsody Explorer's Emperor's Challenge. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There is a playlist in the description down below with all of my content on this game. Past, present, and future. And hopefully we'll see you next time.